All right, how is everyone doing? In this video, we're covering the new song Bloom by Troy Sivan. Two, three, yeah. I bloom, 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 just for you. Yeah, I bloom, just for you. Yeah. Now, to play this, you don't need a capo, and all you're gonna need are a few open chords and a little technique called palm muting. So, let's get into it. So, to begin, what we're gonna do is take a look at the four open chords. We have an E minor seven, which is essentially your E minor with your pinky on the third fret of the B string. Then we have F. For the purpose of this lesson, I'm just using the four fingered F. And you can use the other ones if you wish. And just keep in mind that I don't have diagrams on screen, but if you click the description of the video below, you're going to see them listed out. Then we have an open A minor chord. And we have a four finger G. Right, so those are the four chords. Now, you may notice that verse one, it's just him singing on his own. And we come in on the refrain, the bit that goes. And it's true, baby. I've been saving this for you, baby. Okay, so with that part then, we're now in verse two. And these are the same chords for verse two as for the refrain. So to give it a bit of context, I'm just gonna do a bit of singing. So it goes something like this. It goes one, two, three. I guess it's something like a fun fair. We're gassing to the motor. And boy, I'll meet you right there. We'll ride the roller coaster. Cause it's true, baby. I've been saving this for you, baby. Okay, so the chords, same chords. Uh, the rhythm really, it's just going down and up the whole time. One small thing to consider with the rhythm is the fact that at the last measure of each bar, you're gonna anticipate the next chord. Now, what I mean by that is this. I mean, we're doing E minor seven, And instead of playing it like for four beats on E minor seven, like I just did in four and F, you're gonna hear me anticipate the F chord. Where do I anticipate it? So it's where I count the off beat of the four. It's where I go one, two, three, four, and. So on that end, I'm gonna strum my F. I'm gonna do the same thing to transition from the F to the A minor. So it goes one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, Three, four, F1. Okay, and now we're into the pre-chorus. And as you can see, it's just the F chord going to the G chord again. And it goes one, two, three, four. And it goes one, two. I need you to tell me right before it goes down. Promise me you hold my hand if I get scared. Now I might tell you to take a second, baby, slow it down. You should know why. You should know why. Okay, so bit of tab going on. No need to be scared. <laughs> what you need to watch out for is the following. It's basically that the rhythm is syncopated. It's going off beat at times and on beat. Um, I'll play it first just to demonstrate. So it goes one, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. And that's it. You'll see the big PM written above the tab. That just stands for pan mute. Now, how do you pan mute? You just bring your pan and push it to the edge of the bridge and it gives it that chug sound, that. As opposed to this sound. Which, by the way, if you wanna play other dance music using chords, pan mute in your chords can add a lot of rhythmic features to it. So now that we've talked a bit about the rhythm, we've talked about the pan muting technique, um, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna run through how to construct the chords. You'll notice that it's only two notes over each other, so it's open E string and second fret. That's your first chord. Then if you look above where it says F at the end of the first bar, 
you'll notice I'm going to make this chord. Index finger on the first fret of E, pinky on the third fret of A. So I'm going from this chord to this chord. Now let's add in the rhythm. The rhythm goes one and two and three and four and. I'll do that one more time. It goes one and two and three and four and. Sounds like something that'll be on a metallic album, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. So the next bar then we get, we're still on that same chord we left bar one on. And note the way that I don't play in the first beat. So it goes one and two and three, four. I'll do that again. One and two and three, four. Let's add both those bars together. So it goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. I know it doesn't sound that like it slowed down. So I'm just going to speed it up just for context again. So it goes one, two, three, four. Three, four. Now take a look at the third bar. You'll notice that it is the same rhythm as the first bar, just with two different chord pairings. So you're on zero on A, two on D, and it goes one and two and three and four and. That's third fret on the E string, D string here. Now a very common quest question I get asked is, well, how do I miss that middle string in between the three and the zero? If you note the position of my ring finger, it's leaning down to block that A string. So when you pick your A string, you possibly should hear that it's muted. If you hear this, you need to lean it down more and then it's muted. Okay, now the fourth bar, we get one and two and three now, all together, the third and the fourth bar goes follows. It goes one, two, three, four. All four bars go like this. It goes one, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Singing and playing this, uh, I was practicing it off video and it's not going to happen <laughs> at the minute. But what I will do is I'm going to strum the chords written above that part just to give it a bit of context for you, okay? So it goes one, two, three, yeah, ah, boom, 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 just for you, yeah, ah, boom, just for you, yeah. Okay, so now we're in the bridge. The bridge is quite um, Prince esque, it's pretty cool. So the chords again, we've our F chords. Now A minor seven is just your A minor with your ring finger removed. Okay, now looking at the bars there, you'll see we've four beats in bar one. In bar two, you play the F for three beats, A minor seven for the fourth beat. Then we just swap G for four beats. Then on the last bar, it's G for three beats, A minor seven for one. So it goes as follows. It goes one, two, three, four. You'll notice from that that I'm still doing down and up. It's That's all there is to this rhythm for this part. So your work will be just getting the chords nice and clear for the change. And those are all the parts you need to play the new Troy Savant song, Bloom. Now, if you have any questions, post a comment below. I'll be happy to answer. And also, if you haven't already considered subscribing to this channel, just hit the button below and you'll be kept up to date for all the new tutorials that go up every week. Again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you very soon.